This question is in your NCERT books and it is also a part of CBSE previous examination year was 2011. The question is solved x dy by dx plus y minus x plus xy cot x is equal to 0 and one condition is given that x is not equal to 0. Now why x is not equal to 0 is necessary because cot x means 1 upon tan x and 1 upon tan 0 means not defined. So that was the reason x not equal to 0 should be included. The other thing. I see y here also, I see xy cortex means y is there which can be taken out as common. Let's start with the solution taking y as common and then let's move forward. So I write solution and my x dy by dx remains as it is and plus y is common 1 plus x cortex is the situation and minus x goes to the other side to become plus x. Now see if I uh, have to get rid of this coefficient of dy by dx, I have to divide throughout by x. So it is dy by dx plus y upon x, then it is 1 plus x cot x is equal to 1 because I have to get rid of this x. Now see y upon x and everything is there, let's open this bracket. So dy by dx plus y upon x plus y cot x is equal to 1. Now we have to compare it with which equation? Compare with the general equation. Compare with dy by dx plus py is equal to q. Now what should be p? p should be which is the coefficient of y. So what is p? p is 1 upon x, 1 plus x cortex. From where I have got this? From this part. Right? What is Q? Q should be 1. And if you open up, again P would be what? It would be 1 upon X plus cot X. That is your P. That is done. Now one more thing that you have to keep it in your mind is that you cannot remove everything out of the question. You have to go step by step. Initially only if you think, okay, X is there, I don't need X. Let's remove this X and everything. You can get into complications. Now, the next step is to find out the integrating factor, which is nothing but e raised to the power p dx, right? What is p? 1 upon x plus cot x. So, e raised to the power 1 upon x plus cot x dx. Now, what is 1 upon x? 1 upon x in the form of integration will give me log x. And what is cot x? Cot is nothing but the reversal of tan means cos x upon sin x. Now what is the differentiation of sin? It is the differentiation of sin is cos. So what I mean to say is do not panic. If I have to separately find out cortex dx, so it is cos x dx upon sin x. Now if you put sin x is equal to t, cos x dx is equal to dt, right? So that means here you have dt upon t which means log t which is log sin x. Simply you can put in the above thing. So what is your if integrating factor is equal to e raised to the power log x plus log sin x. Right? Now this can be removed as the sign because integration has been done and you have obtained one constant of integration. Now one more thing, please keep it in mind. What is log m plus log n? It is log mn. So that means this becomes, okay, plus c is not required. e raised to the power log mn. And e and log basically nullify each other. So my integrating factor is very simple x sin x. Now when you have obtained out of this huge thing, just simple integrating factor, x sin x, what is left? Simply y into integrating factor is equal to q into integrating factor dx plus c is the next step. What is q? q is what we had found out as 1. What is integrating factor? x sin x plus c. Differentiation, integration, please do not forget dx and everything. Now what should be the first function and what should be the second? I late says this should be the first, this should be the second. 
So, first function into integration of second and here also it is i f into y, right? First function into integration of second minus differentiation of first means minus differentiation of x with respect to x1 into integration of second is minus cos x and again whole integration plus c remains as it is. Now what should be there as the next step? The next step is simply multiplication of integrating factor and y. So y into x sin x is equal to minus x cos x then cos x integration is sin x plus c and that is the answer to this question. So simply one thing please keep it in mind that always upon seeing the question you have to just optimize in your mind and plan the strategy how would you go about it. Rest everything comes step by step but initially planning is very important in any question that is of specially linear differential equation.